shoes like hanging from a telephone wire. Um, yeah. Apparently it means there's drugs for sale nearby. Um, well, on my way here, I saw drugs hanging from a telephone wire. And um, I looked down and there was Clark's, the shoe shop. <laughs> That's on the other side now. Um, so, um, quite recently, I found out that I'm pregnant. Um, this is a, it's not an elaborate setup, it, that's true. Um, and so I'm going to talk a bit about that. Um, I had my first midwife appointment a few weeks ago, and um, I was sort of running late, I was a bit in a rush. Um, I was about to leave the house, and then I was like, oh no, I meant to bring your ensemble. Um, and so I had to look around the house quite quickly for an appropriate thing to wee in. Um, you know, that had a good lid and stuff. And, um, like, the only thing I could find was my husband's lunchbox. <laughs> and um, so I did a wee in that. Um, quite a big wee, because I was thinking maybe proportionally the box would look smaller if there's more wee in it. And that would be. So I arrived, this is all true, I arrived at like this. Um, and um, they actually had to post the wee off somewhere. Um, so I was made to like decant a little bit into a smaller container. Also, my husband needed his lunchbox back. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then she said, oh, OK, I need to ask you some questions. Um, and she did warn me, like, oh, some of these questions are a bit funny. But nothing could have prepared me for the first question that she asked me. It was, are you female? <laughs> Followed by, was that the gender assigned to you at birth? Um, now, I'm all for political correctness, um, but out of the millions of pregnant women in the UK, how many of them were born a woman, then decided, do you know what, I don't like being a woman, I'm gonna be a man, Fine, I'll have a sex change. Then decide, do you know what, even though I like living as a man, I'd like to have a baby. Um, like, there might be one or two, but does that really necessitate every pregnant person being asked, are you female? <laughs> I think not. Um, so, um, more recently, I had my scan. Um, does anyone want to see it? Yeah. 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 I'm glad you said yes. Um, here we are, this is not easy. Oh, cute, isn't it? Um, but I don't know if you thought what I thought when I saw this, which was, what's this bit here? Can you see that? <laughs> and I, like, apparently there's nothing wrong with it, but um, I was like, is that a skull cap? <laughs> Are we having a Jewish child? <laughs> and I, I don't know if you can see that well at the back or whatever, so I've enlarged it a bit here. The menorah is here. Um, and like, there's nothing wrong with Jewish babies. I would just expect them to come from Jewish parents. Um, <laughs> really quite pro-Palestine, so a little bit more <laughs> um, But um, I'm looking forward to being a parent. Um, I'm looking forward to um, reading them uh, story, bedtime stories and you know, singing nursery rhymes. Um, but what I like to do with songs, and nursery rhymes included, um, is to opposite them. And what I mean by that is I take every word of the title I think of the opposite word. So um, to do this, you have to kind of get into the right mindset. Because um, not every word has an obvious opposite. But um, you know when you're a kid and the opposite of dog is cat, and that's a fact, no one can argue that. <laughs> Go back to that place in your mind, and then you can do it. Um, so like, twinkle, twinkle, little star would be Dull, dull, big black hole. <laughs> Which I think mean better prepares a child for life. <laughs> um, I've done it with 
quite a lot of songs. Um, so there's um, No Woman No Cry, that's easy. Yes, man, yes, laugh. Um, they're not more positive. Um, there's um, Bye Bye Miss American Pie. Hello, Mr. Iraqi Salad. <laughs> There's uh, someone killing me softly with his song, um, helping her forcefully with her mime. Um, <laughs> bit creepy. Um, and there's that one, you know, whoa, we're halfway there, whoa, living on a prayer. That comes out as kind of something a sat nav would say. Uh, whoa, we've reached our destination. <laughs> whoa, relying on science. <laughs> if you want to go the, the whole way with the oppositing, every time you hear whoa in a song, just switch it for giddy up. <laughs> so, whoa, 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 she's a lady, becomes giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, he's a man. <laughs> it's, very bad. Um, it's actually quite hard to stop doing this once you've started. And it opened up a song just out in my head. Um, the other day I was in the car, the radio was on, and uh, Purple Rain came on, and I was like, <laughs> Yellow Snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I'm going to end by talking about the time that I became an attempted murderer. Um, so, um, it all started with, um, do you know the show from, from when I was a kid, uh, Get Your Own Back? Yeah. Um, if you don't know, it's a gun show, and uh, what happens is, a kid comes on at the be beginning of the show and says something like, Hello, I'm here with my uncle who wears embarrassing jumpers. Um, and then, by the end, the uncle gets gunged. Um, <laughs> They never had kids with real problems. <laughs> they never had kids come on and be like, Hello, I'm here with my mum. She sold all my toys to buy crack. <laughs> but those are exactly the kind of kids that should have been on that show. Um, like, I kind of think if everyone as a child was allowed to gunge an adult of their choosing, we'd all be fine now. Like, there'd be no need for adult therapy, counselling, all of that stuff. And I feel like if the NHS wanted to invest a bit more in guns, they would only win long term. <laughs> That's my idea for NHS reform. That and stop asking pregnant people if they're female. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I wanted, I had this teacher that I didn't like, I wanted to go on a show with her. So I asked her, Mrs. Burgess, I was about seven, um, will you go and get your own back with me? And she said no. And I was like, oh, I didn't know you could say no. Because I didn't think that was how revenge works. Like, you don't get a hit men mask and all that, do you? Um, so anyway, she said no. So then I was like, well, I'll just have to link up my own revenge plan. Um, and um, so, so I came up with a plan uh, because she had this annoying habit, right? Of, she was trying to teach us about punctuation, but she was annoying. Um, she read out our work exactly how we punctuated it. So if we didn't leave a full stop, if we didn't put a full stop, she wouldn't take a breath. And I was like, mm. um, So I wrote a very long story with no punctuation in it. In the hope that she would die reading it. And that's how Get Your Own Back turned me into an attempted murderer. Thanks, good night.